Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha, if this is your first time here. In today's video, I am doing something that I have literally been so intrigued about ever since the first time I saw this type of video. And that is, I am going to be looking at my skin under a microscope. So, <laughs> if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, basically people have been buying these like little handheld microscope things from Amazon and looking at their skin super up close and I literally have watched so many videos of this and I finally ordered it on Amazon. I will have a link down below if you guys want to check this or you know do it yourself as well. Um, but yeah, I ordered it and I have been so excited <laughs> to film this. You guys know I am like such a skincare freak. I love skincare. I take really, really good care of my skin where I try to and I want to see if that pays off. I want to see what it looks like super up close. So we are just going to do a little deep dive and I also will be able to record with this thing, which is really exciting. So you guys will be able to see what I am seeing as well. So I am going to go ahead and launch this app, but before I begin, if you guys enjoy this video, then give it a big thumbs up. And um, yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe down below, join the fam, and let's get on with this video. Let's go ahead. I'm not wearing any makeup right now, literally not an ounce of makeup. I did put on my skincare though, like earlier on this morning, so that's all I have on my skin. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of work in this area first and kind of see what happens. Oh my god, this is so weird. Also, I have a lot of peach fuzz on my face, so you guys will probably see all those hairs. Yeah, you can definitely see all those hairs. I have like a lot of peach fuzz down here. And it's kind of like a light brown. You could literally see all of the like flakes in my skin, all of the hair. I literally have like, do you guys see that? I literally have white hair on my face. If I come super close to the um, camera, you can probably see it. You can especially see it right after I put on a setting spray. Um, but ew, what is that? Okay, now what is that? Wait, wait, where was it? Shoot, I just lost it. I literally see all of the oils on my skin right now because I'm super moisturized. I have kind of like a breakout right here or like a little like whitehead thing. So let's see what that looks like. <gasps> Wait, oh, oh, <gasps> what the hell? I'm like shook. You know those little like whiteheads or like those little just, it's honestly the tiniest little dot, but you could see that it's like filled with I don't know, whatever kind of gunk in there. I have no idea. I have like a couple here too. Ew! Okay, this looks so gross. Oh my god. What the hell? I have a lot of hair. Okay, let's see my mustache. Oh, oh my god. I need to shave. <laughs> or not shave, but I need to like situate this mustache. Oh my god, you can see all the like blunt edges. I'm trying not to talk because this is right under my lip. I'm doing this right here. Well, obviously you can see. But I have a lot of peach fuzz under here and it literally looks like I'm growing a freaking beard. Ew. That is disgusting. Gross. Oh my god. I have a lot of like bumps in this area just like textured skin basically like around my mouth. I don't know why it just has always been like that. And I also have a lot of hyperpigmentation here. So I'm interested to see what my chin looks like. You can even see the hyperpigmentation through this. But you know what? Just looking at my skin. Okay. I don't know what that is. That definitely looks like food. <laughs> it's so interesting. You could literally see the dark marks and like the hyperpigmentation like that spot right there. That spot right there is an old pimple that now has like a bunch of hyperpigmentation. I'm gonna get to this real soon, okay? This was a huge zit. And I mean, I've mentioned this in the past, but anytime that I have a zit and it goes away, it always leaves a dark mark. So that's why it looks like that. But I also just have like a lot of peach fuzz around here too. So I feel like you'll see a lot of hair. Yeah. Do you see all those white hairs? 
like the skin itself honestly looks pretty healthy like it doesn't look very dry like let's see my cheek i mean yeah it doesn't look very dry like you can see the bounciness if i go kind of like this oh why does that look like that oh my god what is that oh. do you guys see what i go like this and then put it on there's like white marks everywhere oh my god there's literally i need to start dermaplaning like or what's it called where you like shave your face i have so much hair on my face <laughs> what the heck it looks pretty healthy okay now let's go to this thing because that i feel like is gonna look so weird so this is the skin around it skin around it doesn't look too bad where are you oh 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 stop okay this is like totally rated r but does that not look like a nipple <laughs> <laughs> that literally looks like a nipple you could see oh my god you could see the little like hole where the like pus or whatever else like the sebum came out of my skin when the pimple went away i don't pop my pimples by the way they just kind of go away on their own but this is like literally so sickening that is so fascinating you can see like literally where the hyperpigmentation is like this is my regular skin tone and that is all of the hyperpigmentation. This is so odd. Okay, let's go closer to my nose because I feel like this is where I get the most oily and I have the most pores. So I want to see what that looks like under the microscope. So honestly, it doesn't look horrible. There definitely is a lot of oil here though. Like I am glistening right here. <laughs> I am shiny. It low-key looks like maple syrup or something is on my face. What is that? That's like a pore. Oh my god. Do you see that? That's like a pore and a bunch of hair coming out of it. So I have a lot of bumps on my nose as you can see. Um, I mean I've always kind of had those. I just have a lot more texture there. Um, I don't know why I've always been like that but you can see just the like dots and stuff which is so interesting to see up close. Oh my god. It literally looks like I'm so congested. But that's literally what my nose texture looks like. Oh my god, look! Oh. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, I know what that is. I have this like black dot right here. I've tried extracting it before, but I don't even think it's like a clogged pore. I really don't know what it is, but it looks disgusting under the microscope. Oh, this is my nostril. Look at all the hair and the peach fuzz around there. Let's not get too close. I, I don't know if I have any boogers. <laughs> Let's see what my birthmark looks like, actually. I feel like that might be interesting. So I have a huge birthmark right here, obviously. But let's see what that looks like under here. Ooh. And then I have little, like, beauty marks on, to on top of the birthmark. So that's what the beauty mark looks like up close. Let's see if I can focus it a little bit better. There we go. Honestly, I'm quite impressed with my skin. Let's see my under eyes. My under eyes. Oh, there's some congestion there. Okay, this is my cheek. Now let's look at my eyebrow. Oh my god. <gasps> Ew. This looks so creepy. I'm sorry, if you're the type of person that gets grossed out easily, this is not the type of video for you. You can just see how oily my eyebrows are. Like, guys, my eyebrows are the oiliest, oiliest part of my face. Oh, this is my scar. Can you guys see that? How the texture kind of changes? I have a scar in the middle of my forehead. And that is literally it right there. I have like this little dot here. Oh. Oh! Wait. Ew! <laughs> that is disgusting. It's like... It's a mole. I didn't realize it was a mole. I was always wondering what that was. That looks so gross. This one kind of looks more just like a spot of hyperpigmentation. Or like a sunspot. And then I have another thing. Kind of near the mole right there. 
which also looks like some more sun damage which doesn't surprise me because my forehead is massive so <laughs> I'm sure there's some kind of sun, da sun damage on there but I mean I'm no dermatologist but I'm not gonna lie this skin looks pretty healthy okay I have a couple birthmarks around my face like I have one here I have one here and I have one here so I want to see the one on my eye that is what my birthmark looks like up close whoa it literally looks like just something breaking through my skin it looks so odd okay and then I have another one right here this one's a lot smaller this kind of looks like a mole like the other one on my forehead not so much a beauty mark which is kind of interesting and then I have one more right here. Oh, 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 there we go. So you can kind of see the difference between a mole and a beauty mark. So these ones are, oh wait, I don't know what the difference is anymore. Oh wait, these ones are beauty marks, the ones that are like super black. And then the moles are the ones that are like kind of browny. Yeah, I mean my skin, honestly, I'm quite impressed. Let's see what my eyelashes look like. Ooh, those look cool. Hey guys, so I think, <laughs> I know this video is kind of pointless, uh, just kind of looking at my skin, but I know some people did like face masks and stuff, which I would want to do, but I feel like nothing would really come out. And so instead, I'm just going to do my makeup because I'm actually going somewhere after this and then I kind of want to see what makeup looks like on the skin. <sighs> you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, you can see yours through here. Oh my god, you have so many large pores. Whoa. See, see my, all the pores? You see mine is clean. No, do you see all those pores? The little dots? What is that? It's like little, like enlarged pores. Oh my god. Okay. So. <laughs> it looks like, it looks like a tufted leather couch. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Probably use a pore strip or something. Oh my god, this is so interesting. So, as you guys saw on my skin, like, I don't have super enlarged pores, but my dad does, which isn't a problem. A lot of people have enlarged pores as well, but you can kind of see what it looks like. Like it literally looks like a tufted leather couch, like all his pores are the little buttons and then let's see your mustache. You can see the stubble under the skin. Do you see that? <sighs> Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Oh my God. That looks so cool. That's his mustache guys. It's under my skin? Yeah, it's like, because you shaved, so it's like poking out. You see the little black dots underneath? Mm -hmm. They're coming out. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Oh my god. I see all black, you see that? Let's see, here. Let's see what this, you have like a pimple right here. Oh, oh. Hold on. oh my god. Ew. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. You don't want it anymore? <laughs> that was interesting. What is it for anyway? Just for fun. For fun? Yeah, just to see what my skin looks like. Why I have healthy skin, you know? <laughs> healthy. <laughs> Alright guys, so plot twist, it's actually the next day. Um, after I put on my makeup yesterday, I didn't have any time to actually show you what it looked like. So I just turned this thing on and we're going to see how it looks today. Oh my God. It's so sparkly. Okay. So let's see right over here. It's so crazy. Cause it, I mean, it looks pretty similar, but it's just like more smoothed out. And like on the cheeks, for example, you can see my highlight. This is so interesting. You could literally see all of my highlight. Let's see what my brows look like. Oh my God, there's sparkles in my brows. But I feel like my skin definitely looks smoother. It looks very sparkly because I use the Ula Henriksen um, Banana Bright Primer because that has like a shimmer to it. But that is what my skin is looking like. Let's see my nose. Looks pretty good. I kind of want to see what my mole looks like. So, okay, instead of the mole, actually, I want to see what the little bump looks like now with makeup on it. So I think, hold on, I think we just passed it. So that thing right there is what that nasty pimple looked like. That's crazy. It literally doesn't even look like it's there anymore. 
Like the makeup totally smoothed it over. I'm wearing the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish found or Studio Skin Foundation if you're wondering. But I want to see what this mole looks like because makeup usually covers it. Or actually, let's see this one over here might be easier to get to. Oh, there it is. You can see a little bit of the black peeking through, but the makeup did a really nice job of smoothing that over. That's so interesting. Like I didn't put a, a super heavy amount of makeup on. As you can see, my skin looks super natural, but I feel like the microscope is picking that up too. Like it looks super natural and not cakey on the skin either. I kind of want to see what my like smile lines look like when I smile. Just like little creases, but not too bad. You can see my pores are nice and tight and filled. That is basically it for this video, guys. I know it was kind of random, but I hope you found it interesting. I feel like this is similar to like those Dr. Pimple Popper <laughs> videos and just like seeing super up close to the skin. So I had a lot of fun. Let me know if you guys want me to do anything else with this thing now that I have it. Um, maybe I will do like a peel off mask on my brother or something like that and see what happens. I don't really know. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you thought down below if you found this interesting or just, straight up weird. I totally understand if you found it straight up weird, but I've got to go because we are heading out today with the fam. But I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Oh, actually subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We are getting closer to 300k guys. I know we're just under 260k right now, but 300k is like not too far away. So I'd love for you to join the family and yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.